Santa Barbara has been dumping its garbage at the Tihigua's landfill since 1967. And now it's nearing maximum capacity, making diversion from the landfill a high priority. Recycling paper, aluminum cans, and glass helps divert waste from the landfill. But the city hopes to take a step further through a pilot food scrap recovery program. When we look at our waste generation overall at the city of Santa Barbara, almost 20% of our waste that we generate is food scraps. And what we've really been working on with this program is taking a look at the last stream, as we look at it in Santa Barbara's waste generation, that we haven't been addressing. We have a really comprehensive recycling program that we're building up for businesses and for residences. But we've never really taken a look at food scraps. And that's the part of our stream that we're not recycling. And it's about 25,000 tons a year. The innovative program is two years in the making. Just a few months ago, it made its debut at Cottage Hospital, Santa Barbara City College, Sojourner Cafe, and Coffee Cat. So far, the results have been promising. In the past, we used to do a little composting with a, with a local farm, and that kind of fell through because it would sit for days and days, and it just got a little messy. And We kept on looking for someone to take our compost, um, and, but this is perfect. They pick it up every day, and... The city provides us with uh, trash cans, the bins, potato uh, bags, which we have an endless supply of. So it's working out well. We used to put everything in the trash containers. And since we started this new program, we've been, uh, you know, we've been very happy to use it. Here at the Coffee Cat, your food scraps don't go to waste. Instead, they go in these compostable bags, which are provided by the city. From there, they are hauled to a certified composting facility. It was amazing almost within the first day how much, how much of what we were throwing out was food and compostable material. And it's amazing, like our most, probably it's cut our garbage in about half. Not only does food scrap recovery help divert waste from the landfill, it also benefits local agriculture and the environment. 40% of California's greenhouse methane emissions actually come from landfills, and that's all from buried food matter, green waste in the landfill. And so we see as collecting these food scraps before they go to the landfill and diverting them into compost as being a really significant initiative in terms of climate change. And secondly, turning food scraps into compost is a really fantastic process because it allows us to give those food scraps in a usable form back to agricultural land. We can keep it right here in Santa Barbara. We like it, and uh, we'll be using it you know, all the time because it's, it's great for the environment. You know, we go through a lot of food scraps and now I want to put on the menu, if you don't eat it, it's okay. Over 16,000 pounds of vegetable cuttings, coffee grounds, and leftover food scraps have been collected so far from the four pilot program participants. Santa Barbara Zoo, Aldo's Restaurant, and several more businesses will participate in coming months. For more information, go to sbrecycles.org.